Welcome back, Controls Champions, to another episode of Breen Machine Video Blog. I'm your host, John Breen, and today I'm going to take the flag from my last video where I talked about 3D Vision and start talking about 3D Light. So, if you saw my last two Kians videos, this probably looks very similar. We've got almost the same setup here, except I changed a couple parts. This is a color camera now. It doesn't have to be, but it makes a better presentation, so we're gonna do that. And this light now actually has structured light components to it. So it's similar to the fancy lighting we talked about in the last two videos, the Lumitrax and the Multi-Spectral, but this one now has projectors at every angle where it will project structured light. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. And I know that comes a little bit fast, but you can see that it's projecting lines that are different widths and at different angles. And with that information and a little bit of setup that we, we did the calibration before we started rolling here, because that'd probably be kind of boring for you, but we did the calibration and this system in the vision processor can do all the math to turn that into 3D data now. So we have a 2D camera and we're getting 3D imagery that we can inspect off of now. So if we look at the computer, this is the picture that we start out with and you can see colors, this is kind of a heat map based on how high these components are off of the back plane. And if I switch it to 3D view, you'll see how that heat map relates to what it looks like normally. And notice it looks a little fuzzy while I'm rotating it. That's just because it's saving graphic processes for, for display purposes. When I stop moving it, notice how much crisper it is. And for the sake of visualizing what I want to visualize, I can push this all the way over to heat map, or I can show what the picture actually looks like. And we can see this in full color again because I've got a color 2D camera here. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time talking about the tools, how we would inspect this part, but we can inspect based on height, based on location of all these components, we can anchor to these components. I talk about fixturing in other videos. Now we have 3D data to help us fixture, to find the thing we're looking for. So maybe we want to inspect the label on top of this capacitor or whatever. We can find the capacitor based on the 3D and then inspect the label. Okay, so where does this make sense in an application toolbox, let's say? In the engineer's toolbox, where is this the right tool to use? First of all, it's uh, at a price point that's similar to a premium 2D system. So you're, you're getting 3D light for free with this 2D system. Second, you get uh, the full suite of 2D tools that go along with it. If you use a color camera or not, uh, you can have color information to work with. I don't know any 3D system that can do that. Um, you can also inspect things using OCR or barcode or Again, all of the 2D vision tools that you're used to using, you can use on this system. What's it not good for? It's not good for things that are moving. If this is moving by in a conveyor, uh, you, you need this to be stationary for about a second. So that's not a good application. This also isn't good for 3D metrology. It's not intended to be a high precision measurement tool. This is for, again, 3D light is what I'm calling this. If I wanna see if one of these capacitors is on the board, or if it's the wrong height, like this capacitor here is taller than the capacitor next to it, maybe they're supposed to be the same height, we can tell that. And generally we can count on this to be accurate within about a millimeter. So uh, again, that's lower resolution than we would expect from a full 3D metrology system. I can see uh, a lot of cool applications for this. Maybe it doesn't fit for anything. Maybe you already have a system and you decided you want a little bit of 3D. Well, you can buy that light and now you have 3D, presuming you've got everything else is new enough 
and uh, and compatible. So it's uh, it's just a cool technology, and I hope I hope that you find that useful. Thanks for watching. If there's one thing I like more than making these videos, it's hearing what you have to say about them. So um, leave a comment, share, like, or subscribe. Ooh.